Hello everyone, we are team SOS and this is a quick demo of the SOS app for the IEEE MathC competition. So uh, going into the app, this is the app right here, so I'm going to launch it. Yeah, so I'm going to sign up right here, yeah. User test123, then password is password. And then, yeah, I go ahead and register. Yeah, so now I'm in the app. So I'm just going to fill in a few details over here. Name, age, uh, blood group B negative, 164. Okay, and then here you have an option to pick an emergency contact. So uh, this is optional. So I'm just going to skip it for now. And then here's uh, an option for persistent notification for emergencies. I'll be getting back to this later, so I'm just going to uncheck it. Yeah, so on logging in, you are presented with this dashboard over here. So it shows you uh, your medications for today, uh, which there are no medications right now, so it just says there's nothing. And then there's pro tip, which changes every day depending on the time of the day and the requirements. And then here's uh, a vital section which again changes based on your type of activity, based on what you're doing. And then, yeah, that's the dashboard. So moving on, here's the inventory. So this this is where all the medicines you have are stored. So suppose uh, you're, you're on Crocin right now. So I'm just gonna add it over here. Uh, I'm gonna set the time for 10 a.m., 10 p.m., sorry. Yeah, for today. And then uh, dosage one, 10, yeah. So when I save it over here, it says that I have 10 left. And since I have to take it today, it's going to show up here in medications today. And it's also going to give a reminder at 10 o'clock. So uh, moving on next, here you have prescriptions. So um, there are no prescriptions yet, but how this works is the hospital management will directly send prescriptions to the app using a backend. So I've sent one now, so if I refresh, yeah, it shows up the prescription over here. So you can directly add it to inventory and it'll show up in your inventory. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it. Yeah, so now it's been added. So uh, moving on, here's the reports. So uh, this is a complete replacement for paper reports, which is again going to be sent by the hospital management to the app using the user's SOS ID. So the advantage over here is you can zoom in and get updates in real time. For example, it'll just be appended to the current reports instead of generating new paper reports and it's also more dynamic. Right now it's just populating uh, random data, but this is how it will work if you're using the backend to send. And then, yeah, the next section. Oh, before that, going back to the inventory, uh, the medicines we added through the prescription has been updated here in the inventory. So it's that simple. Just tap add to inventory and it adds. So uh, moving on, yeah, this is the emergency section. So this is a section completely dedicated to different types of emergencies. So for example, in case I need an ambulance, I tap it and then it, like you can see here, it sends a report to the backend. So help can be asked using any service by us. And then it also has uh, directions. So in case you need it, you tap and it uh, gets your directions to the nearest hospital. So uh, Google Maps is a little slow, so I'm just gonna go back, yeah. And then it also shows you first aid information related to the emergency, like choking, CPR, for example. In case of fire, there's burns, blisters, etc. And there's also an option to cancel your request. So in case you accidentally tap it, you can just go ahead and cancel it there. Yeah. And then there's a blood request. So this is, um, for example, you need blood for somebody. You just go ahead type in the blood you want and your contact number and you just request blood. So for the sake of a demo here, I've put my own blood group. So request and then yeah, I get a notification here because I am the same blood group as I'm asking. So for the sake of a demo, I get a notification. So uh, that's how blood request works. I can just swipe this away. And then this is uh, a need help section. This is for uh, people who are struggling or who are feeling uh, depressed or suicidal or anything so you can this will again send a request to 
get someone you can talk to or you can just directly go to a helpline and you can talk to them so uh, those are the five types of emergencies and yeah about emergencies there's also an option uh, Android 7.1 shortcuts which we built into the app so from the home screen itself if you long press the app you can go directly into the app and send a request so this long press and it shows you the options over here and also uh, as I spoke before there's the option over here for persistent notification so if I enable it now the notification will always be there over here so in the lock screen you can see the notification so if you need an ambulance just tap it, it takes you into the app so that is persistent notifications and then yeah moving on this is the user details area so this uh, the user's SOS ID this is an important ID this is what identifies the user uh, in the hospital management backend so using this all the reports prescriptions etc are sent and then this stuff you can fill in like this will automatically come from the backend so yeah those examples and then in the settings you have yeah emergency contact so in this case if we check this it'll send an emergency SMS in case you tap an emergency to your emergency contact as well in addition to sending it to a backend so there's that and then there's a couple of other options you can opt out of blood donation so yeah that's the uh, gist of the app SOS these are the sections and then the dashboard yeah so that's about it so there's another feature which can be used to send notifications from the backend. So in case of a natural calamity of sorts where you need to reach out to a lot of users, this can be used. For example, PSAs. So I'm going to send one right now from the backend. And it's been sent. Yeah. So here I've received a notification that says, Solar Eclipse, you're advised to stay indoors. So like this case, if there are any natural calamities or Anything where you need to reach out to a lot of users, this feature can be used. Hmm. So uh, there's more in the description of the video and the documents. So you can refer there in case of uh, detailed sections. Yeah. Uh, thank you.